What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through on how to trigger a Lambda function when the records in DynamoDB table is updated, created or deleted. Right, so the overall flow is going to be like, uh, here I have this diagram. So what will happen is uh, whenever the record is inserted, modified or removed from the DynamoDB table, then it will trigger a Lambda function and it will stream those records uh, to the Lambda function, right? And later on, you can implement your own logic on how you want to process that records or you want to forward those records or dump those records within S3 bucket, right? So it can be anything. So this is what we are going to cover in this tutorial, right? So we will start on with the DynamoDB table creation followed by the IAM role creation for the Lambda function, followed by the Lambda function creation, and finally we will set up the trigger, right? So let's get started. So go back to AWS Management Console, click on Services, navigate to DynamoDB. Now, once you are within DynamoDB, you can directly click on create table from the dashboard or you can click on tables from the left panel and click on create table from the tables, right? Now, once you click on create table, it will ask us to enter some information, right? So like table name, so I will say Lambda trigger. Now here we will define the primary key, I will say connection. You can define uh, whatever you want, right? And rest of the things we are going to leave it as it is. And once you are done with this configuration, we will say create. Now the DynamoDB table is created successfully, right? Now we can go ahead to IAM role. So if we look at this diagram, then as a second step, we are going to create the IAM role. So navigate to IAM management console. Now, once you are within IAM management console, click on roles from the left panel and say create role. Now here we will select Lambda as a service because we are going to create this role for the Lambda function. Say next permissions. Now here uh, we are going to attach one permission policy that is DynamoDB. So that's going to be AWS Lambda Dynamo DB execution role, right? So I'm going to select that. So generally it will give permission to CloudWatch logs and the Dynamo DB. Then click on tags, add a tag if you want. Next review, give it a role name. I will say Lambda Dynamo DB. And finally say create role. Now as a third step, we are going to create the Lambda function. So navigate to Lambda Management Console. Now once you are within Lambda Management Console, click on Create Function. Give a function name. I'll say Dynamo Trigger. I will select runtime as Python 3.8 within permission. I will select use an existing role and we will select the role that we have just created. That is Lambda underscore Dynamo DB. And once you are done with this configuration, click on create function. Now we have implemented uh, the first three steps. Now we will set up the trigger. So go back to Lambda function within designer panel, say add trigger within trigger configuration, search for Dynamo DB, select that. Now here it's asking us to select Dynamo DB table. So we are going to select the table that we have just created. That is Lambda trigger, right? 
now we will leave it batch size as it is that is 100 so it says the largest number of records that will be read from your tables update stream at once and then we have batch window right so batch window can be set in seconds so basically it's the maximum amount of time to gather records before invoking this function right so it's optional i will leave it as it is and then we have starting position so we are going to select latest right but we have another option that is trim horizon so basically within trim horizon it start reading uh, the untrimmed stream records uh, which is basically the oldest record in the shard right so that's trim horizon at very high level but we are going to select latest and then we have some additional settings we are not going to touch that right so it says on failure destination we can send those uh, failure events uh, to the sqs or maybe an sns right and then we have retry attempts and maximum age of record and all that so uh, for now we are going to leave it as it is so all we have to configure is at this point of time is the dynamodb table batch size its default and i think rest of the things uh, we will leave it as it is right and finally once you are done with this configuration say add now here we have successfully set up the trigger right so now what we will do is we will go to cloudwatch log for this lambda function and within this function we will say print event right so navigate to function code and we will say print event save this now within cloudwatch log right now we don't have any logs right so now we will go back to dynamodb select the table that we have just created that is lambda trigger in my case click on items and here we are going to create an item so click on create item so we will give a value to the connection i'll say something random abc and i will save this now this should trigger the lambda function so let's have a look within cloudwatch log let me reload this and we have the event right So here as we can see uh, we have the event data that is event name as insert because we had insert the record right and you can find that data within new image right so this is the data that we had entered that is avc right now if i go ahead and modify that record so select that i will say click action edit maybe i will say A new item maybe called we'll say XYZ and I will say save now here we have modified the record right so let's see what we have here so here we have another event right now it says event name as modified right and we have new image as called xyz and then we have this value right and apart from that we also have old image right so earlier the record uh, was something like this and now as per the new updation the record looks something like this right now finally uh, we will go ahead and delete that record to trigger the deletion event right so i am going to select this click on action say delete delete now let's see so here we are the third event that is event name as remove right and what has been removed so here we will not get new image here we will only get the old image right because we don't have any record within new image so 
that's old image so this record has been deleted right so basically uh, that's how you can uh, set up a DynamoDB trigger or you can stream the records from the DynamoDB on certain events, right? Now you can handle these events within this uh, Lambda function, right? So for example, if you want to process some records that are only modified, right? Then you can set a condition saying if event name is equal to modify, then, and then only the logic should be implemented, right? And for example, if you want to perform some action on insert, then you can put on condition saying event name is insert, then only relevant logic should be executed, right? So that's how you can handle those things within this Lambda function, right? Now, apart from that, uh, we can also set a trigger from the DynamoDB table itself, right? So at this point of time, what we had did is uh, we had set up a trigger from the Lambda function console right but i will also show you how we can set up a trigger from the dynamodb table itself so navigate to dynamodb select the table now here uh, click on more from the right side and you will see triggers so select that now as you can see we already have this trigger set up but this is being done from the lambda function right now you can click on create trigger and it will give you two options that is new function or existing lambda function maybe you can uh, select whatever you want right so I will say existing lambda function right so here uh, we have uh, option to select a function then batch size and finally you can say create right uh, but here we are not getting uh, those uh, options to configure right like uh, batch window and the shard value which which was latest and trim underscore horizon right and all those things so this is how you can also uh, create a trigger from the DynamoDB table itself. Right, so that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. And as usual, till that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.